Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've talked before many, many times about my love of no muss, no fuss hydrating moisturizers. Like I love a good workhorse product. You know, the products that are gonna do all the fancy stuff. They're gonna target the fine lines and the hyperpigmentation and the dullness and the retexturizing the skin. You know, I love those types of skincare products. But hydration to me is one of those benefits that I will constantly seek out in my skincare products because I feel like hydration ticks off so many of those boxes. Like when my skin is dehydrated or doesn't have enough moisture, it doesn't matter how hard my workhorse products are working, like my skin will just never look its best. So I have just come to love a standard basic no must, no fuss hydrated moisturizer in my routine morning or night. I will sometimes pair it with a much stronger, let's say serum, or whatever product I'm using underneath that maybe is doing a little bit more of that fancy stuff. But if my skin is having a good run, let's say it's really looking good, I'm not breaking out, it's just really balanced, that's also when I'll pull out my hydrating basic moisturizers to kind of keep it going. All right, I'm gonna talk about the ones that I pulled out here. I have more, but these are the ones that I really have found to be the best and most universal. And then I'll try to narrow down my top three. Ooh. Okay, Dermalogica Active Moist. Oh, that word, moist. Um, couldn't pick another word, could you? Active hydration, active moisture. Okay, so I've been using this moisturizer for a very long time. We're talking like three or four years. And it's very lightweight, it's oil-free, and it also has um, cucumber in it, so it is very soothing and healing and calming to the skin. I actually have found that this, I brought this with me on every single warm weather or beach vacation that I've been on because it replenishes my skin moisture levels better than almost any other product that I've tried. So when my skin is really, really dehydrated, I will pull this out and it really helps to just like infuse some moisture back into it. Uh, like I said, they all do the same thing. So I'm gonna just try and talk about the slight nuances between them but really it's just, you know, up to you if a brand appeals to you or maybe there's a certain, you know, feature or benefit of it that appeals to you, but they all pretty much do the same thing. So I'm gonna sound a little bit like a broken record. Oh, the Ula Henriksen Sheer Transformation. Now this does have like vitamin C complex, like a root, pea extract, but I think of this as a standard no muss, no fuss uh, moisturizer. I love this during the day because it wears beautifully under makeup, especially in the summertime. It, you can use it AM or PM, but I love it, especially in the summertime because it's so lightweight and it wears beautifully under makeup, never makes me extra shiny or oily. And it is just, I've probably gone through about four like jars of this over the years. Even before my blogging days, I remember trying Ula Henriksen products and just always being blown away by them. Great price point, but very effective. All right, when you really need to bring out the heavy guns, we're talking like in the winter time when your skin is dry, dehydrated, just it's going through the paces because of the weather. The First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is designed for more sensitive skin, more eczema prone skin, more irritated skin, but I use this regardless if my skin is feeling irritated or not. It's very, very rich, very intense, but not heavy. I don't know how they do it. It's a whipped texture, but it delivers, it is so intense on the skin and it instantly helps to calm my skin, soothe my skin, help with any redness, but it's never too heavy. So if you suffer from any type of like irritations or extra sensitive skin or whatnot, that is, um, a lifesaver. I also use it on my hands. I've used it on my body, though they have body products, but I love that specific product for it. Okay, the Sunday Riley Tidal Cream. Now this also has other benefits. It does help to brighten the skin. I mean, I haven't seen, it's not going to target hyperpigmentation or dark spots like maybe a retinol will or intense vitamin C, but you, I definitely have seen, my skin does definitely looks a little more even tone when using this. This is a great, great texture. Um, I, you know, I'm just a big fan of Sunday Riley products in general. It is kind of like, it's a medium weight texture. It definitely feels like a gel cream. 
and it really helps to, it does melt right into the skin, I find, but I tend to use this more in the evening than in the morning. I felt that it was a little too heavy for me in the morning. Okay, another great product for sensitive skin is the MV Organic Skin Care Rose Soothing Protective Moisturizer. Now this is a gorgeous, no muss, no fuss, easy moisturizer, but it'll suit all skin types, but especially those with very delicate or sensitive skin. It's very calming, soothing. It's rich, but not as rich as the First Aid Beauty. And it is just a beautiful, um, I don't know, it's just a beautiful moisturizer that will really help to calm the skin. Oh, it helps to smooth wrinkles, yeah. Um, and ease eczema and rosacea. You know, so like I said, if you have any of those specific skin concerns, this line especially is wonderful for that. All right, oh, Darfon Hydra Skin Essential. This is all day skin hydration emulsion. I love this during the day. This works beautifully under makeup, just a little bit all over the face, and it really helps my skin to stay hydrated and um, kind of plump, and it looks beautiful under makeup. I can definitely see midday if my skin is dehydrated on my makeup because I'll see it on my forehead lines will begin to kind of come through and right like in the center part here where you get those 11 lines. And sometimes in my cheeks, I'll just begin to see kind of a pull apart or just not look as like fresh. And I'll know I'm like, Ugh, I'm dehydrated. Like I need to pull out a different moisturizer. I need to get some water, whatever it is. But this Darfon is absolutely wonderful in the morning and really helps to last all day and looks beautiful under makeup. All right. Okay, the Belief Aqua Bomb. Yes, this is very, very popular at Sephora. A lot of you probably have tried this and love it. It really is um, absolutely fantastic at helping increase hydration levels. It really feels like a shot of moisture for your skin. I like this during the day or in the evening. Um, this is another type of product that I would probably bring with me on a beach vacation because it really is like an infusion of water right into the skin. But definitely like a, a medium weight texture. All right, the Bare Minerals Oil-Free Rep Replenishing Gel Cream. I haven't been the biggest fan of the Bare Minerals skincare line. I've kind of found it to be, I don't know, underwhelming. But I have enjoyed this. I would only use this when it is super hot out and only during the day. It is a very um, kind of, it's a kind of a bouncy, um, gel-like cream. No, it's a more of a gel, but it's very bouncy, kind of, it's hard to describe, kind of like Tatcha makes a product like that. And, but it breaks apart in this, in the hand, in your fingers, because it's solid in here and it bounces, but it breaks apart in your fingers. There is some slip to it, so it doesn't completely absorb into the skin. So you may feel, some of you may be bothered by that because there may be some, I don't know, not residue, but it definitely feels like there's something a little bit on your skin. But I do find that especially when it's very, very hot out, I like to wear this during the day and it does um, work well, uh, quite well under makeup or even alone. But if it's not super hot out or whatnot, I tend not to reach for that as much. All right, this Clarence Hydra Essential. I had featured this along with the serum on my blog and this is another kind of infusion of moisture and water into the skin, but it is a little bit richer. So some of these have definitely more of a gel cream. This is just more of a lightweight, kind of a water cream. I think of a gel cream as having some slip to it. I think of a watery cream, maybe just to be like a lightweight whipped cream texture. Um, that definitely disappears into the skin, but doesn't really have a gel-like feel. I don't know. It's like small little nuances and you know differences between them. But this is really beautiful during the day or even in the evening. I've been reaching for this in the evening after, let's say, maybe I've used a powerful workhorse type serum and maybe my skin just needs that extra moisture. Some people wonder... You know, if you're using a really strong serum that's maybe targeting, you know, fine lines, wrinkles, pigmentation, you don't want to kind of add to that for fear that 
an additional workhorse type moisturizer may be too much for your skin. So if I'm using a serum that maybe even has like a peeling effect to it, I will follow it up with something like this, a basic hydrating moisturizer to kind of combat maybe the strong effects that that um, serum or whatever will have. Okay, two more. We've got the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. Now this is newer, and I had tried this and really, really loved this. I love a lot of fresh products. It smells lovely too, it smells nice and rose. And it's just uh, a nice texture. It's kind of like a medium texture. I find this works really well at night because during the day it's just way too heavy for me, but just a little bit at night and I'll just kind of press it into the skin. It makes my skin very um, kind of dewy and glowy the next morning, but too heavy during the day for me. All right, finally, Pestle and Mortar. Their Hydrate Moisturizer. I love it because it's a pump. You just push up here and a product comes up here, much like the Kate Somerville moisturizers, but very lightweight, not like a gel cream or anything like that. It has no slip to it, just a standard, nice, um, lightweight moisturizer texture. And this is beautiful during the day. I don't feel like it's enough sometimes at night, let's say in the colder months. During the summertime, I can get away with this in the evening, but this is beautiful during the day because it helps my skin to stay hydrated for long periods of time. All right, I told you I would narrow it down to three favorites. So if I had to really kind of, okay, definitely First Aid Beauty. And I'll tell you why, because it, it, it fits so many boxes. So, and it's like year round I can use this, though it is so, so rich, I'm talking the hottest day in summer till the coldest day in winter, I will benefit from this. And my skin never gets oily, shiny, greasy, nothing. And it gets the job done. So, and I can use it on my hands, other parts of my body. And this is just, I will never be without this product. So that's a definite must. Yeah, the Dermalogica Active Moist, I've been using this for so, so long. And it's just, I feel so refreshed when it's on my skin. And that is why I keep going back to it. Cause every time I put it on my skin, I feel my skin just feels like it can like just breathe out a sigh of relief. It feels uh, instantly um, kind of brought back to life and moisturized. So that, and then it's tough because I do love a lot of these, but the Ula Henriksen Sheer Transformation. This is amazing during the day under makeup, especially it's such a good, good moisturizer. It's just, and it has other benefits. So it has the other ingredients like vitamin C. So it will help to brighten slightly. Licorice root, pea extract, pea extract. I don't know what those all do. Um, so it will help to brighten and kind of, you know, target a few of those other concerns, but it's just stunning under makeup. And it's one of those moisturizers that I can use it and it'll never fail me. It's just consistently, performs always great. Like I never pick up a jar and start using it. And I'm like, oh, my skin's not reacting well this month to it. No, nope. it's always, um, never fails to uh, be fantastic on my skin. So those are my top three favorites. And I'll go ahead and link all of these down below. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd love to know what some of your basic um, no must, no fuss hydrating moisturizers are. So leave me a comment and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care, bye-bye.